Oh, stupid penny saver, stop leaving these at my house. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? I just passed the gas station. Gas is up like 25 cents now over the last like four days since the weekend. Give me a break, dude. The gas prices or oil prices have not gone up that much in that short a period of time to justify these price increases. It took forever for the price to come down. I feel like I wish there was a giant Tupperware container that I could bury in my backyard so that I can store this gas for the amount of driving that you have to do in Florida. So we're heading over to the comic store because Star Wars Episode 2 or Issue Number 2 from Marvel is coming out today and we need to pick it up. But in the meantime, you ever use your car like it's your own personal karaoke box? Yeah, I know you do. This is what I do. to the comic store and Target. Now we gotta go to my favorite place. Not really, Best Buy. Hey, we're back from going to the stores and I just wanted to show you guys something before I show you Star Wars Comic 2. I had a couple of folks send us stuff um, in the mail that I wanted to say thank you. Um, Hannah sent this to me all the way from uh, Leeds, I believe. And this was the one variant of Star Wars 1 that I really, really wanted because of this character, the little rabbit that looks ridiculous. In Marvel Comics, when um, the first run, years back, um, that character Jackson was kind of like um, a character that people poke fun about because it was a, you know kind of an odd thing to introduce like a rabbit to the whole Star Wars thing. But this was kind of like throwing it back where everybody was having their party and, and locking Jackson out. So... I really super appreciate the the gift. I, I, I can't say enough. So thank you so much for sending this this way. And then Paul from Ideology and Madness sent me a couple of comics as well. One of which is this, which was a special uh, edition from Tidewater Comic Con, and that was super awesome. I love this painting, and I love the uh, the Boba Fett behind it, but more so, I love Han and Leia here. So. Um, Super, super awesome. It brought my variant count for the first issue, I think, up to um, 12 different types of covers. And I'm thankful that that's all done with. That said, issue number two came out today, um, and this is the standard cover um, for issue number two. And, of course, they have variants, so just like with the first issue where they had uh, the cover that looked like a toy, issue number two has this toy with Han Solo as well. There were a ton of other variants again too that I saw on the shelf that were like 10 bucks and more and I totally am not buying into this stuff every month because it's getting ridiculous. But um, next week uh, the new comic for uh, standalone Darth Vader comic comes out and I believe the following week the standalone comic for Princess Leia comes out. So they'll have three Star Wars titles and consistently going back to the comic store for more stuff. But I'm happy. Issue number two. Um, for those that don't know and you might like Star Wars, um, this is canon, uh, meaning like this is going to be woven into uh, the fabric of the Star Wars uh, story for Saga. Um, it it uh, 
takes place in between A New Hope, which was, for older people, the first Star Wars movie. For younger people, it's Episode Four, and The Empire Strikes Back. So um, these are storylines that um, they have said will continue to exist. So I'm anxious to read up. Hey, by the way, guys, something cool happened today. We went up to 2,500 subscribers. So um, once again, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And um, thanks for all of um, the comments and the feedback and the um, rapport that you guys build with us um, through uh, YouTube. It's been fantastic. So um, just thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Hey, when I went to Best Buy, I picked this up for 10 bucks. It's the 30th anniversary of Ghostbusters 1 and 2. In any event, this video is included as one of the bonus features. It's actually hilarious seeing all of these old uh, celebrities from New York time period in what I remember as New York City, you know, kind of growing up before it was all Disney-fied. Hey guys, so what I didn't show you is we played a, about an hour or two of uh, Grand Theft Auto tonight, so we were just kind of playing around, but I had to get to sleep. I, I am exhausted and couldn't tell you what day of the week it was before, so apparently it's Wednesday. I thought it was Tuesday earlier, so, and uh, before that I thought it was Thursday because I was ready to take the trash out. The trash goes out Thursdays here, so anyhow, on that note, um... I'm heading to bed so we can knock out Thursday and Friday and get to Saturday so we can go to Universal again for Mardi Gras so that's gonna be cool um, on that note thank you for all of the likes and the comments and the subscriptions treat others the way you want to be treated have a great night we'll see you guys